Forget that. Howdy ho, Arkansas Pilgrim here again. Uh, get a different outfit, hey. Get a, uh, you want a cookie if you, uh, let's say what the source of this nerd reference is. Kind of two sources, but uh, actually, if you know what it is, then you know the other. You know one, you know the other. At any rate, we're back out in the garden, and uh, just going to give you a quick update on it. But also, uh, this is going to be one of my Shed Wars uh, give a gardening tip. Even though, you know, considering what how things have been working on my garden, I don't you know if you really want to follow my tips. Here we go. We got tomatoes, and I've got some trellises started. I don't have any on the back row here. Uh, but they're starting to need them. Uh, I still haven't, uh, well, we'll see once they start producing, which they are. There's some tomatoes. Uh, we'll see if I actually did get them planted and divided up in the right place. These are supposed to be, these two rows are supposed to be uh, Romas. And then the back row was supposed to be uh, Rutgers. Because um, that's actually where I was going to build a larger trellis uh, for uh, for the, for those because they're indeterminate and these uh, uh, actually to be honest with you I don't know what I had planned to do since I didn't have tomato cages oh yeah I was gonna do the uh, uh, do the weave method with them that's right seems so long ago that I thought about that I couldn't even remember uh, I'm not quite sure they don't uh, these were all planted at the same time, and these don't, they're not doing bad, but they're not doing well. I'm not sure why they're not growing. Um, but maybe, maybe these were actually some of the ones that should have been on the back, and some of those should have been over here. We'll see when the tomatoes, when they bear tomatoes, we'll find out, that's for sure. All anyway, right, uh, my uh, squash. Are doing okay. I've got a zucchini. Well, that doesn't really measure up to Homestead DNA's zucchini landslide, uh, or anybody else's for that matter. But hey, uh, I'm still pressing on, you know, endeavoring to persevere, you know, as the saying goes. Uh, I am also getting quite a few peppers. Uh, as if anybody saw my short, I did clear the peppers off of all these small ones, but I'm calling these ones over here, well, except, except for maybe those, uh, big enough and I'm going to let the peppers produce on them. Uh, and actually there's some here getting close to being uh, harvestable. I am going to let them go to full five inches uh, so I can at least get... Uh, have a few to put in in a jar uh, or two for, for preserving. Now when it comes to my tip, well, this is not exactly a tip, but here is something I discovered yesterday. That's some naked branches. Well, I pulled two big and one small made a hornworm off of these plants. Uh, the two big ones off of here, and I think over here there was a small one because there's just a few leaves gone on a couple of the plants, and it was really small. I haven't found any more today, but that's how you find them when you see naked, you know, naked stems. Well, here's the, uh, the tip. If you have done like I have done and not planted dill or basil to keep the tomato hornworms away, which was something I had planned to do, but you know the best laid plans of mice and men and all that, uh, and just how this garden seems, garden's been going with me, uh, I didn't get it planted, so I'm going to have to deal with it. Uh, and well, how I'm going to deal with it, I'll put in the in another video. But here's the tip for if you do have tomato hornworms and you pick them off, what you want to do is snip off the, the branches that have been chewed. 
reason you do that oops. Oh, I get all, these are not really the right cutters to use but I had them in my hand you need to get rid of all of, of where they've chewed so then if you see any new missing leaves then you know you've got another worm around and nothing's going to happen with those limbs anyway so you might as well get rid of them but that's my gardening tip for today uh main tip is actually do some companion planting and keep them from coming out in the first place but if you do get them trim trim the uh chewed up stems off so you'll have an idea of whether or not there's still one around otherwise you'll see this and like was that one chewed yesterday or not i don't know so anyway god bless y'all god bless all your gardens and your growing efforts and hey go team aquarius see you next time